What's up, fellas, and welcome to Keyboard. Whee! Uh, and when I say Keyboard, I mean Keyboard as in a different game. It's not Minecraft, even though it's got the similar aesthetic feel. <laughs> Whee! Besides, you can't do this in Minecraft. Whee! Uh, oof, that hurt. <laughs> Well, uh, don't mind me, That's don't mind him, he's just my pet alligator called uh, Leatherhead. Yeah, welcome to uh, Cuboid. Uh, Cuboid is a indie game in alpha, it's currently in development, it is very, very promising, it's got, it's Although it, it's a blocky world, randomly generated world, the same to Minecraft, it is randomly generated. Like Minecraft and got blocks like Minecraft, but the similarities end there. This game is basically if Minecraft had better combat and focused on that and RPG elements. And that's it. That's, that's the only comparison I'm going to make to Minecraft. As for what this game is all about, well, uh, let me just just show you. So let's just go out into the world. Well, first I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's let's pick on let's pick on this guy before I do. Yeah. Alright, so, what is this game about? This game is about exploring a hugely randomly generated world with different biomes and stuff, and you just, right now, because in Alpha there's not much to do, but right now, you just explore, find stuff to kill, find caves to explore, find ruins and castles to explore, find pets to uh, tame, find mountains to hang glide or climb off of, and well, that, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. As time goes on, the developer will add in more along the road as time passes, but for now, it's it shows very a lot of promise. I mean, just the fact that alone that I can just do this. Wee. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. Uh. Yeah. All right. So. I don't know if you saw, but I t uh, I'll attack this guy. What is it? It's an owl. Well, let's pick on the owl. Alright, the owl is dead. Alright. So, the main things about this game is wonder Wanderlust, where you just explore... Um, you just explore a huge, huge... What's fighting me? No, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it killed me. Alright. Uh, let's try it again, only. Hey, get down here. Alright, let's try it again, only not be attacked. <laughs> uh. Alright. Stuff can kill you in this game. All right. So it's a huge, it's a it's a randomly generated world with lots of different biomes. Each each of these sections re or regions, and each of the regions is a different biome. And if you were to go beyond 
the borders you would reach new biomes and whatnot you know there's forest area there's a desert there's a, like a lava lands there's a giant ocean you can sail across there's random grasslands right now I'm in like a grassland hilly area and each biome has landmarks in the city a city you can buy stuff from and landmarks are places you can explore you can fight enemies find loot you can find bosses to fight uh, the different shaded color means it's it's different difficulties red means it's higher than my level white means it's lower than my level blue means it's at my level um, uh, right now in the game there's no quest in the game right now. the only thing in the game is daily um, simple missions like this right here you go to it and it's going to be a landmark and there's going to be a boss that wants you to kill if you kill you get extra bonus, um, XP well, the games right now is all about just exploring getting lost in the wonderful environment seeing what the world has to offer and just coming across random mobs to tame, kill, loot do whatever your heart's content uh, now the only downside I hate having to keep um bringing up Minecraft, but it's it's a game that everyone, well, most people know, is you can't destroy the environment. Well, if you have bombs, you can destroy the environment, but you can only destroy the environment to a certain extent. There's really not much you can do. Here, watch, I'll show you. Let's go, let's place a bomb here. So you can blow up a little bit, but not not too much. Later on, there might be more use for it, but right now, it doesn't have too much use. But yeah, the, the basic thing is you just explore the environment, see what the world has to offer. Different biomes have different uh, level difficulty creatures and, and different kinds of monsters or enemies for you to come across fight. As you can see there, I just looted a flower so you can come across resources in the wild like cotton. Um, bushes to uh, destroy. Like if, it, if I would destroy this, I'd receive some logs, which I can use to craft stuff. And uh, because it's an alpha right now, it's just explore, fight, craft, and tame really. And there is multiplayer, online multiplayer, and whatnot. And I'm sure they'll add in a lot more stuff along the road, but right now, for being just alpha, this is really cool. There's a lot to it, and it's it's a lot of fun. You just explore and mindlessly hunt stuff or kill stuff along the way. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, another really cool thing about this game is every uh, creature in the wild. If you find a snack food, like a pet food uh, apple ring, every mob in the game, every creature in the game is tameable. If you find a pet food to associate with a certain animal, you can tame that animal. For example, uh, apple ring, apple rings allow me to tame. Oh. Crocodiles, and I now have a pet crocodile, and I named him Leatherhead. And certain pets you can tent, you can ride. And if you raise your riding speed, then you, you can use these pets to travel quickly across the land. And the lands are huge; it takes you a good amount of time to get from one end to the other, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, every creature, every well, every like animal is tameable and there's all sorts of foods associated with different animals right now I have I have a raccoon I named rocket I have a pet hornet I have a pet bunny apparently you can ride bunnies in this actually you know what why don't I show you <laughs> that's a bunny rabbit I'll show you what bunnies look like see I named this bunny jazz High five, you get the reference. See, apparently you can ride rabbits. 
right now um, the, the pets aren't balanced so they all go the same speed and almost just about attack the same except for a couple of different creatures that either shoot or heal you or fly or the turtle which has a ridiculous amount of health I have a hornet, I have a mole Actually, why don't I just show you? That's 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 my mole. I named him Mole Man. He's a he's a pretty cool guy. I have. I'll show you the raccoon. The hern, the hornet. Bunny. I have a pet squirrel. I should name the chip. I have a pet collie. I'll go back to a crocodile. And with, with pets, uh, when you tame a pet, you can not only ride it to travel farther, but you can also use pets to help you out in battle. If I can find something I won't, I won't kill in one hit, I can show you. Let's go pick on this owl. See, the crocodile fights for me. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Because it's an alpha, they st they haven't gotten around to balancing the pets, but they provide some help in combat and all nice companionship and ride, which is really cool. I, I love the the fact that you can tame anything in the wild, provided it's a creature, is really cool. So if you want a bunny traveling with you, you can have a bunny. If you want an owl, you can have an owl. Uh, the other cool thing about this game is it's an action RPG. Meaning, as you level up, as you kill stuff, you get XP. As you level up, you get stronger, more health, and your attacks will do more damage. You can equip higher equipment and stuff. And the, and there's four classes. There's a uh, there's the rogue class. There's the mage class. There's the warrior class. There's the ranger class. And each of those classes have a um, two subclasses. Like the mage can either go fire mage or water mage. Warrior can go but, um, berserker or defender. Rogue is sniper or hunter. And the rogue, which is what I am, can either go assassin or ninja. And for the most part, all the classes have the same abilities except for the subclasses have one different attack and have a different bonus. Um, because I'm a ninja, I can dodge every all attacks while performing the special attack. And each time I dodge attack, I get MP and my next special attack will be critical. Whereas the assassin is more more about stealth. And, if, and the, the, the stats switches really like the assassin gets camouflage, whereas the ninja gets ninja stars. You can tell why I chose this one because Ninja Star is awesome. And you get different you get different abilities based on your class, which change the battle, which is cool. It mixes up the battlefield, and then you get three utility skills. You get Pet Master, increase the health of your pets, and you get Riding, which allows you to ride pets, which is very helpful for traveling across the giant biomes. You get Climbing, where you can climb faster without consuming um, stamina and you can hang glide which as you saw earlier which is so much fun the swimming which allows you to swim faster as well as sailing which will allow you to sail across bodies of water uh, another cool thing that I wish again I wish Minecraft had or just more games had is the ability to climb and Climbing is, <laughs> it's adorable. It's its like Spider-Man. See? <laughs> uh, you, you scurry up the wall. It's hilarious. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, can I even climb up this? I think I have to climb up right here. Yeah. How cool, how cool is that? You get a climbing ability. And anything in, in, the, in the world you can climb up, provided you have enough stamina. 
So I can climb this tree if I want. See that mountain in the distance? I can go climb that. There's no boundaries in this game. See, look, I can climb the tree. It's not very effective, but... Because I don't really have a way up and around it, but... You can climb the tree. <laughs> uh, another cool thing about this game is because it's an action RPG, you get loot drops. Similar to uh, Diablo, Diablo style. Which have different stats. You know. Uh, they give you different like armor stats, more armor, more crit, better armor rating to avoid taking a lot of damage. Each class can equip three different types of um, weapons which changes the way you attack. For example, the sword does like a s wide arc and then the secondary is like a like a, a charging attack. And you can also dodge roll in battle provided you have stamina. So it's, it's really cool to either dodge around an enemy or dodge and then retreat from battle. Uh, you even get a lantern so you can see at night or see in deep dark caves. It's really cool. Uh, well, this is pretty cool. The other, th yeah, uh, as I showed you earlier, the my one of my favorite things is the, how detailed the map is. Look, if I scroll in all the way, look how detailed that map is. It pretty much shows you by scale everything in the world, which is very helpful. And then if I were to scroll out. Later on, they're gonna have it so the different area re regions are different color coded, so you can tell what's difficult, what's not. And then you see these, you see this little light blue line that shows me everywhere I've been. So I started off here, and then I explored all the different surrounding biomes to see what they were. And right now, I'm just messing about in this place. Uh, the other cool thing is you can eat food to recover health. You can sleep at night, or you can sleep in a bed to recover your health. In town, you can s interact with various NPCs. Right now, they don't do anything other than say hi. You can, as you level up, you can craft better armor. You can craft food if you find food in the wild. Which is cool. You can craft gold and silver and whatnot in town. And uh, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's really it's a lot of fun. It's sometimes you see random NPCs just traveling about, either hostile or neutral. And it's it's really it's addicting. Right now there's not much to do, but it's, it's fine. It's still a nice world to explore. Um, have you, I think I've already been in this castle, but let me go to a castle to just show you, show you more combat and show you what a landmark looks like. But other than that, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Again, it's alpha, but feel free to check it out. I I highly recommend you look check it out or keep tabs on it as they introduce new elements um, there's a character creator so you can create different characters based off of different races which is really cool I'll show you that I'll show you that in a bit probably at the end of the video uh, let's hang glide If I run out of stamina, I'll crash, but as long as you're careful with it, you can travel quite distance, quite a few distances with it. Um, actually, let's land on this. Let's crash on this. Let my stamina come up. There we go. I 
castle should be over here somewhere. Close to my uh, oh, I'm practically on top of it. My gear has a cut up. What's the pet pet button again? Is it? Is it C? No. Is it B? No. Is it N? No. Is it T? Ah, it's T. I travel fast on them. Oh, jeez. Oh, also in the wild you can find random camps that you can rest at and recover health. Sometimes there'd be groups of enemies hanging out about with it. That's a friendly frogman. Oh, let's go say hi to him. You can play as a frogman if you want. <laughs> <laughs> right now they don't really do much other than provide you with a few game tips. Because in Alpha, alpha there's no tutorial so you have to use the wiki and word of mouth to, to learn how to play the game. Alright, there's a castle right, right by it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Now this castle I should be able to take, take on. This is the entrance. Oh wow. The big old dude. That's the boss right there. 